Hey guys, it's Aaron, and in like I said in my passing tips video, this video I'll be showing you how to make a kind of binder. Okay, first off, this is me with just one of the thin, crappy binders you can get at, um, god, bras, sports bras you can get at Walmart. And in a shirt that is not the best, so see, still shows some, and I don't approve of that, so... Oh yeah, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. What you can do is, I, I got these at Walmart, so they're not crazy expensive, they're like $2 a piece. Um, it's Dansky Now? I, it's the brand name's coming off. But it's one with like a little dancy person, that's what I get. Uh, this is a much better one. Now the much better ones I get in a size smaller than I need, like I wear medium regularly. And so, and these I get small. Well, then I put them on over this one. This just kind of holds in place while I put this one on and it makes it smaller. Now, obviously, this coat is kind of big, thick. And <clears throat> yeah, it's just a huge, it's huge. But, um, that's okay because the bigger the better, I guess. That's what she said. Um, I couldn't find just a regular jacket around my house, so I got my big leather one on. Now, since it's leathery, if you look a little fat in it, it's okay, because it's leathery, so people don't question anything. Now, if I do this, it doesn't matter. Just look flat, look like I have a tummy bone bread, then like I got a baby in me, but it's okay. And just, what I recommend for, um, this is attached, by the way. Uh, just regular hoodies. I recommend not zipping them all the way up because it would be like such weight. I don't know. But just partially way up. Maybe not at all if you can get away with it. I don't know. But that's just what I do. This will help hide your chest also. Uh, if you put your hips a little bit forward, like you're lazy and kind of relaxed, it'll make your chest bring back some. So it's not as obvious. Like I said, it will still most likely show some. It does on me, but um, if you play it right, you can probably get away with it. So, anyways, that's it. Um, oh, but a warning. When you get one that's too small for you, it can hurt after a while, so I do not recommend sleeping in them. Wearing them all day, like all day, I mean, from when you get up to when you go to bed. If you have to, you can get away with it. If, like, just going to school and coming home, that's fine. Going to the mall and coming home, that's fine. But, just, like, not all day, all day. Uh, things to not bind with. Ace bandages. I did bind with those, and it messed with my rib cage some. So now I have a slight, like, indent right here. They do not bind very well. If you run, walk too fast, or anything, they'll, like, fold over under your boobs, which will just be like, and... Yeah, it'll just, like, the opposite of what you want the effect to be. And it's, like, all lumpy and stuff. Duct tape. I am not binded with duct tape. Um, you don't wear it with a bra. And when duct tape, like, it gets expanded, it tightens when it goes back down. So as you breathe, it'll just, like, tighten. And it doesn't hide very much. But you don't have to wear a bra during that one. So that's a plus for duct tape. But don't do it. Um, and most importantly, don't hurt yourself binding it's not worth it. It's really not. I. It's not worth it. So, anyways, hope you guys have a great week, and see you next time. I'm not sure what the next topic will be, so I'll think of it over a week, or just leave me a comment, tell me what you want to hear about. Okay, bye.